We've all heard of this by now, right? Pluto and Capricorn has not disappointed. The crumbling of celebrity, toxic celebrity empire. This is Diddy's chart. Now, I don't know if his birth time is accurate. I think this is midnight that I have up. So we're just going to look at his overall placements and the transits and how they're impacting them. Without a birth time, we have to ignore the houses, unfortunately. It kind of takes away a layer of interpretation, but I'm going to do my best. It's honestly no shock to me that this is all coming to light right now based on his placements alone. I mean, he has Jupiter and Venus in Libra. Together, those planets in Libra especially make someone incredibly magnetic, a smooth talker, suave. Easily can manipulate with their words because they're so keen on the needs and the wants and the desires of other people. It's giving art of seduction. If you know, you know. And Chiron, the wounded healer, has been opposite his Jupiter and Venus placements bringing to light the way he has wounded other people with his toxic masculine behaviors. It's no surprise that this really started to blow up around the full moon we just had in Pisces. It was an eclipse, if you remember, because <laughs> that does feel like a year ago. In opposite Diddy's natal Pluto, Pluto is the planet that exposes truth and brings things to light that were hidden underneath the surface. Diddy also has his Mars, the planet of sexuality. In Capricorn, where Pluto just retrograded to, literally it's exact, so, of course, Pluto, the exposer of truth, is bringing light to Diddy's own secrets and his insanely inappropriate sexuality. Jupiter has been squaring his north and south node, indicating karmic retribution. The last new moon we just had in Libra was opposite his natal Chiron, bringing out his own wounds on his Uranus through chaos. Saturn has been on his natal north node, challenges around karmic destiny, opposite his south node, also indicating karmic retribution, having to own up for one's karmic past, bringing it to light to receive justice around it. I mean, Libra also is very karmic. So if you have Libra placements and you do something wrong, it's going to come back to you. Anyone with Libra placements inherently knows this. That's why they are pegged as people pleasers and they struggle with being a people pleaser because they inherently know what is right and what is wrong. And they know the karma's a bitch, so they keep the balance. When they don't, it, it, it don't go well. Also interesting that Uranus and Taurus has been opposite Diddy's natal uh, Neptune, the planet of delusion, illusion, deception. Uranus bringing to light that deception through chaos. Diddy is a Scorpio sun in Mercury. I mean, he has some dark, dark impulses, dark urges, especially being a Virgo moon. The dark side of these placements is not, is not pretty. Talking Jack the Ripper, Jeffrey Dahmer, sadistic, fucked up shit. Especially with him having Mars in a harmonious aspect with Pluto in his natal chart. Mm-mm-mm, mm-mm. I really wish we knew his birth time because I could go so much deeper, but this is what I got for now. What are your thoughts? Let's talk about it in the comments.